when you first power up the remote display, it will show RAD, which stands for Remote Address. For all RCC modes, other than mode 4, you would set the address to 1, which is the default, and you do that by hitting Enter. It displays the number 1. You would push and hold the Enter key until it stops flashing. If you are using the RCC in mode 4, where it supports multiple displays, then you can scroll up and down to the address you need for that particular display, and then press the Enter key. In this case, we're going to accept 1 by pushing and holding. Okay, it has accepted address number one. Now, if I ever need to read that address again, I would push the back and the forward key at the same time and hold it for two seconds. It displays the address for as long as you hold those buttons in. If I ever need to clear the address so that I can start over, I push the back arrow and the enter key at the same time for five seconds. and it'll clear out and go back to RAD and then I can start over. So again, I push enter and I just accept address number one. Once you've set the address in the display module, if the RCC 1081 is communicating with a, a Novar executive module and receives a program download, then the installation is complete. If it is not communicating with an XEM and is working in a standalone mode, then it will require some setup in a special mode called the test mode and that will be covered in the next video.